what's going on guys this is Alex Louie again today we're gonna talk about show point and fixed the iOS set iOS flags uh, manipulator just gonna give you a short example on how to actually manipulate floating point numbers and let's get started as you see I'm always including the iomineip.h header file so that I can use the iOS flags so the first example I want to show you is I want to show you the show point and iOS fix flag. So the first thing that you notice is that we're using this. This is called a function. This function has a bunch of flags that you could pass in. Uh, two of the flag examples that I'm showing you here are the show point and the fixed. Show point means that you are regardless of the number you're always going to show the decimal point and any trailing zeros so if I had a whole number in which I'm going to show you an example for this particular variable of 50 and I use these flags here the show point flag then it would show 50.0000000 the next flag is called the fixed flag and this will display any real number in a fixed point format and you have two options you can do fixed point or you can do scientific which is an e notation where you have the number sort of similar to 1.1 e to the plus 5 so it's 1 times 10 to the fifth power and that would be your fixed notation to output so in this particular case let me run this so what's going to happen is it will display the value of 24.510000 so let's do that so you see right there we have 24.510000 now the default for padding on using the show point is going to be 6 as the default Okay, as a default. So even if I had 24.512, then you'd have three additional zeros. Okay. Now let me show you an example of how this would look if I was doing a whole number. So if I was going to do a whole number, first display how it looks without any flag set so this is a simple number it's a whole number of uh, 50 now let's say I want to actually have leading or yeah I would have zeros a decimal point and a bunch of zeros and I also want to display this real number uh, using a fixed point notation so the first thing that I would do is I would use the set iOS flags put in my flags separated by a pipe character and for this particular value we're going to display 50.00000 so what we're doing is we're going to show this number in fixed notation fixed point format and we're also going to display zeros after the f after the point because by saying show point then I want to show the additional zeros padded to the right. Okay, so if I run this, then you see 50.000. So, so as you see, the default is six zeros after the decimal point, and voila, you have your fixed point with your decimal numbers. Now, we don't necessarily have to combine these two, we can also just use show point or you can just have a number be shown in fixed point notation okay now the next example I want to show you is what if we want to what if we want to actually combine the set iOS flags and the precision okay we can do that we can do that and we learned about set precision in my previous video please take a look if you need more help on that so in this particular case I'm going to 
set my flag call it a show point flag and a fixed notation flag and I'm also going to set the precision to 9. Now in me setting the precision to 9 and combining it with the fixed flag means that I'm no longer going to set the precision on the whole number. I'm actually just going to set the precision on the numbers after the decimal point. So for example, in this amount of right you have 50 I'm gonna show point so show point means I'm gonna have zeros so point zero 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 okay it's gonna be in fixed point notation fixed point format and when I set the precision to 9 it won't take into account any of these digits what it's gonna do is it's gonna say okay I want the precision to be 9 numbers after the decimal point and I'll show you now how that looks see that so again you're gonna have nine zero so one two three four five six seven eight nine you because we're using it with the fixed flag the combination of both of these says we're only gonna take into account the precision after the decimal point to the right Okay, so if I wanted two leading zeros, then I can say I only want the precision to be two. And there you go, you have 50.00. Okay. And that's it. That's it. So again, the show point is to actually show decimal places after the number. If it's not a whole number and if it's a number that has already numbers after the decimal point it's just gonna pad it with zeros as we saw with dollars so you'll have 24.510000 zero, 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 zero. that's show point and fixed is just saying that we are gonna display any real number values in fixed point format fixed point notation and you you have an option of saying fixed or we can do scientific which is another flag so for example I can do the following the scientific is e notation so there we go All right so for this I'd have 4.51 I have the show point right uh, and it's uh, 10 to the first power so here we have the fixed notation okay. I mean the scientific the e notation here which means we're going to move the decimal point one to the right because of this e notation um, and now it's in a, it's going to be an e notation here okay don't we'll kill yourself on understanding the e notation usually fixed is enough just to get you started so uh, any questions as always I'm available by email or through my YouTube channel thank you for listening uh, and I hope this clarified the set iOS flags.